three five equations with variables Phew. on both sides. So now we're going to have equations with variables over here and over here. See you. Oh, let me take this with me. Objective to solve equations with variables on both sides. Check out the math surfer. Look what he's saying. Radical. Get it? <laughs> it's a radical. All right. Whatever. Now, we're switching to equations with variables on both sides. But listen here, dudes. Don't worry about variables on both sides. As long as you keep the balance, you'll be fine. Remember, we just have a bunch of things and a bunch of things. So now if we have like 5x over here and 7x, we can get all the variables on one side by, you know, if these were equal, I can take away 5x's from this side, as long as I take away 5x's from this side. Well, if I took away, there'd be two, just 2x's left over here. So now look at all the x's are on one side. That's what we're going to be trying to do here. We're going to try to keep it balanced by taking away the same stuff or adding the stuff to both sides still. All right? Here we go. Take a look, all right? We're going to build a, we're going to build an equation here, all right? I'm going to show you how you can build an equation that will have variables on both sides. So we're starting from scratch. We're pretending we're writing the textbook. So well, you're going to be that cool. You can write your own book. Watch. I want x to be 6, so I'm going to start by doubling both sides. 2x equals 12. Now, I'm going to add 4x to each side. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have x is on both sides. I add 4x to this side, 6x, and here I'm going to add 4x to both sides. Then I'm going to subtract 10 from each side. Subtract 10 from this side, I'll get 2 plus 4x. Now I'm going to rearrange this. Um, hmm, let me break this guy up. I'll make this guy, I'll, I'll write 6x as um, x plus 5, so I'll write it like this x minus 10 plus 5. See that? Uh, oh, sorry, plus 5x equals, this guy I'm going to write like this, 4x plus 2. I'm just mixing it up a little. Now I'm going to multiply by 1 half. Watch this. I'm going to take this whole side and multiply it by 1 half. And inside I'm going to have x minus 10 plus 5x. And this side I'm going to multiply by 1 half, but I'm not going to show the 1 half. I'm going to take half of both. So I end up with 2x plus 1. See, now I have an equation. Now I can solve that equation. I just made it. Let's double check. Is the x still equal to 6? Let's see. This would be 6 minus 10, right? That would be, um, let's just double check. 6 minus 10 would be negative 4 plus 30 would be um, 26. Half would be 13, right? And 2 times 6 plus 13. Sweet, so it still works. Now, that was building the equation. Now, suppose I had to walk up to this and undo it. Well, I'm going to do what I know. Let's see. I'm going to maybe distribute this, or I could actually multiply both sides by 2 to undo. See, I'm multiplying this side by 1 half. I want to undo the multiplication by 1 half, so I can multiply by 2. Or I could have just distributed whichever way, you know. Let's just show the distribution way, because a lot of... No, well, no, no. Let's get rid of this fraction. Multiply by 2. Multiply by 2. Let's see what happens. I end up with x minus 10 plus 5x equals 2x plus 1. Uh, let's see, I end up with negative 10 plus 6x equals 2x plus 1. Maybe I want to take 6x away from both sides. I can do that. Remember, I'm doing the same thing to both sides. I want to bring all the x's on one side. I chose to bring them all over here. I want to get rid of them on this side. It doesn't matter what side you put the x on. Negative 10 equals negative 4x plus 1. All right. I have a feeling I did something wrong here. But we'll, I'm gonna just going to keep going for a minute, and I'll go back and find my mistake. Um, oh, I, multiply, I forgot to multiply this side by 2. Why don't you say something? Oh, because you're not here. All right. I forgot to multiply this side by 2. If I had done this multiplication by 2, duh, I would end up with 4x plus 2. So this should be 4x plus 2, which would make this negative 2x plus 2. There we go. Now this will make more sense. I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides. Get negative 12 equals negative 2x. What will my last step be? I want to undo this multiplication by negative 2. Divide both sides by negative 2. Divided by negative 2. I end up with 
x equals positive 6, negative divided by negative. Sometimes you show it like this, over negative 2, over negative 2, whatever. Same thing ends up happening. x still equals 6, all right? So I was just showing you how by doing stuff to both sides, you know, you, you build the equation. Well, we undo it. We, we're, we're doing stuff to both sides. I wanted, this is the trip, the, the big step right here is getting this 6x onto this side by subtracting it, okay? I could have brought the 4x over here. I could have subtracted 4x. Either way, you end up with the same, right? Let's go here. The goal here is you want to get variables on the right or left. So either way you do it, um, it doesn't matter. So watch this, ready? Here we go. I'm going to add 4, to, I mean, I'm going to, I'm going to choose the right side to be the side I want my x's on, so watch what happens. I'm going to subtract 4x, subtract 4x from both sides. I end up with negative 4 equals 2x. Last step, divide by 2 to undo the multiplication. I get negative 2 equals x. Suppose, though, I wanted to do it the other way. I wanted the x's on this side. Well, I could subtract 6x from both sides. Let's see what I end up, what I end up with. What's left on the right side? Nothing. There's nothing left over there. And 4x and then the negative 6x, right? It's negative 2x minus 4. Now, I want to get the x alone. I've got to peel the onion, right? Add 4, add 4. Negative 2x equals 4. Divide both sides by negative 2. I get x equals negative 2. Again, so either way you go at these problems, it's still, there's no one right way to do it. Um, a lot of people, you know, think you have to put the x on the left. Well, that's not true. You can put the x's on the right, you know, and it, and it works just as nice. You still get the right answer. As long as you're doing the same thing to both sides. Watch this. I'm going to solve this problem a bunch of different ways. Let's bring all the x's over to the right. Okay, here we go. 4x, I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides, right? But I want to bring the number, I'm going to bring the x's over here, so I got rid of the x. Now I'm going, to, I'm going to do two steps in one. This is going to be like magic. I want to get, since the x's are coming, getting rid of this side, I want to bring the numbers over here, so I'm going to get rid of this 7 from both sides. So I did two at once. Look at that. I'm doing negative 4x minus 7 from both sides. Now watch. Ooh, these guys cancel out. I get negative 15 equals... Ah, uh, these guys cancel out. Look at x minus 4x is negative 3x. Last step, divide by negative 3. What do I end up with? x equals 5. That worked. Let's go to this one. All right? Now I'm going to see if I can bring them over to this side. So let's subtract the x from both sides. I want to get rid of it on this side. But I want to get rid of the 8 here, so I'm going to add 8 to both sides. Again, I'm doing these all in one step. You might not want to do everything in one step yet, but I'm showing you that it kind of can be done. Um, 4x minus x. I get 3x on this side. Oh, look at that. 15. Divide by 3, x equals 15. All right, here we go on this one. Uh, suppose I want to uh, add 10x to both sides. Why? I don't know. And add 5 also. Why would I want to do that? No reason at all. But as long as I'm doing it on both sides, I end up with 16x. Over here I get minus 3. Here I get 11x. Here I get plus 12. Now, um... I don't know, let's subtract 12 from both sides. Minus 12, minus 12. I get 16x minus 15 equals um, 11x. All right, this is um, looking good here. Um, how did I get 16 here? I did 10x plus 4x. Am I, this is getting, am I, it's getting late, it's Friday night, so I'm gonna put this 14x there again, sorry. All right, now, um, now what can I do? Um, well, let's subtract 14x from both sides. All right, here we go. I get negative 3x. It's negative 3. Now, finally, let's divide. Sorry, not negative 3. Um, negative 15 over here. Um, divide by negative 3. Negative 3. What I end up with, x equals 3 again. Nice. Oh, look at this. What am I... I wish that you guys were in my... I was in this class right now because I know that you'd be yelling at me when this happens because you love to see me make mistakes. And that's what I do. I make mistakes all the time, too. That's why I go back and check at the very end. Oh, yeah, this isn't 3. It's 5. And so is this. 3 goes into 15, 5. And I noticed when I went back in here and I said, okay, 4 times 5 is 20 minus 8 is 12. Um, 5 and 7 is 12. And it works. All right? I didn't go back and check my answers, and that's how I got myself into trouble. But anyway, notice that you can do some crazy root or some crazy root, and you still end up with the same answer, all right? So that's about everything you need to know.
Good night.